this has got to be one of the most epic staircases I've ever taken. Um, really, really cool. I'm the Jaunting Ape, and if you've stumbled across my channel, consider yourself lucky. If there's one thing that I absolutely love in this world, it's road trips. I love to travel, but even more so, I love to travel by road trip. I'm here in La Fortuna, Costa Rica. I flew into San Jose, I rented myself a car, and I'm just going all about for 11 days on a road trip. Uh, I don't know where I'm staying, I don't know where I'm sleeping, I don't know what I'm gonna see. If you're interested in content like this, and you wanna see how stuff goes on, well, you've come to the right place. I'm the Jaunting Ape, and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. The world is yours. Oh, just about crashed there. That was really close. Day number six fully commenced here. Off to Terraneo Volcanic Park. Sounds like I could make pretty good time out of being there with the beautiful blue waters and the tapir, the long-nosed pig monsters. So really hope I get to see one of those. I've seen some things that you don't always see when you come to Costa Rica, including that little baby viper that uh, was not biting me yesterday, episode five, I guess. And then that red-eyed tree frog. That was a really cool find last night. So I've got an hour and a half drive here. It was just over 70 kilometers, ETA of 921. Celeste Falls is, there's some kind of chemical reaction that happens in Celeste River, Celeste Falls, that turns the water blue. Super blue, like sky blue. So I'm looking blue like my shirts. <laughs> it's good, it's gonna be good today. There's a special little doggo. Come on. Hello, doggo. Hola. Gracias. Yes, he's back me in nice and good. He's a hero of mine. And make sure I spray away all the, the little jerks. Doesn't spray that good anymore. Okay, whatever. It's $8 for this little bottle and it doesn't even work. Parking was super easy. That's a plus. Lock et vous. Check them all, Joe. Uh, here we go. He just said 2,000 colonas to park. So I'm gonna go back and give him all my change. Give that man his money. He's gonna be super pumped to get all this change. It's good, because I had to get rid of it. It was becoming an eyesore. If it's worth anything, he didn't even count the change. He just threw it in his pouch. So I could have given him 1900, he wouldn't have known. Banios bathrooms here. Restaurant at the bottom by the Perquero. They're locked. They're all locked. He just let the lady go in there to the bathroom in the restaurant, but he said I needed to pay him a dollar. So I'm gonna go in the jungle. No, he actually, that's true though. He did say that and he did let her in for free. But uh, he said, if I buy a ticket, once I get in, there's a free bathroom, so I can do that. Oh, that's good. Those chickens are good. That's for me later. Yeah, that's gonna be delicious. Hopefully they have them later. I'm sure they're here all day. I got the popo here. Do a thorough check of all the backpacks. So I tried to go through the security at first and then they said I needed a ticket that I had to purchase online. So I have a little place right beside there with the instructions on how to do it along with a Wi-Fi hookup. So you can hook up to Wi-Fi and hook up and do it. I'm gonna leave the link for that so you can pre-purchase all your park tickets here in Costa Rica through this, this site with your credit card. And most of the, the big parks you have to prepay before you come in and show them a barcode. So I'm gonna leave the link below for that and uh, use the banos here and then I'm gonna head into the park. No pooping in this park. If I learned anything from Aaron, I'll, I'm going to put my camera on right quick here and be ready for when the sloth swings down at me. 10 o'clock start here. Uh, I was here about 9.30, it took me about half an hour to get in. Parking and setting up and then going through that internet uh, sign-in thing was a little bit of effort. Forgot to mention the park entrance fee was 12 US dollars, so. Well, this is fun. 
just stumbled across another viper here. Oh, he's looking good. Different kind of viper, I don't know what kind that is. But I'm not gonna get real close to it. Not like last time, I've learned my lesson. Thanks mom, Steve Urban. I won't be getting too close to the vipers anymore. Geez, you don't even see them. Like, I mean, that one, there's somebody stuck a big leaf up beside it. I think they marked it. But yeah, you don't really see them there. They're camouflaged well. Those ones, the yellow ones, weren't like that. I heard there was a coral snake up here too, somebody had said. But I'll never be able to find that. No steps, just slant so far. So probably wheelchair accessible, I guess. Get some real good speed on a wheelchair coming down this hill too, probably. Right onto the bridge. There's a lot of big tourist groups here. I think they're coming from uh, from Liberia, I guess, is where they're coming from. It's only an hour and a half drive from there, and it's about three hours, a little over three hours from San Jose. I've somehow grown a part of this tour. Some kind of hole. I don't see any tracks around it besides human tracks. Whatever lives in there is having a pretty nice snooze, I bet. Yeah, there's a lot of giant groups here, people. Then there was the mass confusion at the parking lot with everybody having to buy their tickets online and not knowing about it beforehand. So apparently there's a couple different places you can view the waterfall from. Uh, there's a high point and a low point. So I'm gonna head up to the high point here and see that one first. There was a less people are going this way so it said it's about 250 steps up the sign said 500 meters I guess if it wasn't clear from my clip before wheelchairs are definitely not gonna work here oh, this guy's helping his mom up up here that's awesome I wish I could take my mom up here I guess she's always with me on these trips and she's the one helping me up steps and you know she was with me yesterday when I had my filters turned off with that yellow snake that I was poking at, not thinking that it probably could kill me. I didn't think anything of the sort and it probably should have bit me and killed me up on that mountain. So I thank her every time something like that happens. So she's helping me up the steps. Thanks mom. I can hear the waterfall. Doesn't sound blue, but we're gonna see, aren't we? It's pretty wet here, this trail. She had to cross some creeks, so I'm glad Kind of glad I didn't put too much effort into drying my shoes out because they got wet again. Hiking shoes, major, major player, bring them along. I am just surprised to the max that there's nobody standing at this viewpoint. There's a Tenerio viewpoint here. So I guess the volcano's there. Tenerio there, Tenerio dos, uno dos, and Cerro Montezuma over there, but you can't see any of the peaks. That's what it should look like. Really high steps, big steps for big views and big crowds. Not super looking forward to the climb back up here. Oh, we got a little creek here. It's a real shame you can't swim. Most waterfalls you can swim in. This one, they say no dice. Not allowed. Mother Nature relieving herself here at the bottom. It stinks like heck. That must be sulfur gas coming out and I think now it's starting to make sense that two rivers have two different chemicals in them and then they meet down below and there's a chemical reaction that turns everything blue. And no swimming. Six person bridge it says, no more than six at a time. And it's just me now, so that's really nice. Oh, that water's really clear. It's a nice view here. Here's another six person bridge. This one is easy to fall out. Oh, it's starting to turn blue here. It's getting to be a little more blue. That's the end of the trail. This is where the color turns. It's actually pretty cool. Hoping the camera picks up what I see, but I guess there's a pH change in the water right here and you can see it turns blue. 
and dyes the rest of the uh, river blue towards the falls. So I think when you go down to the falls, you can see the pool of the blue. But yeah, pretty cool. Right there is where the change happens. But look at this. A billion steps now. And they are big. Ugh. So I got back to the fork in the roads. It's a 1,000 meters from the fork, which is 1.5 kilometers from the entrance. Okay, let me try again. 1.5 kilometers from the entrance is a fork. And one way is 1,000 meters, and that's where you see the water turn from clear to blue. And then if you go the other way, well, that's where I'm going now. That's gonna be 150 meters. This has got to be one of the most epic staircases I've ever taken. Um, really, really cool. This guy's... Ah, she's quite a hike up, back up the steps here too. Both these hikes are medium. Medium. They're long. And steps, and steps, and steps, and steps, and steps. There we go. Reception. 1500 meter Roonies. Pretty well downhill, all of it. Which is very nice. Very nice change up. So now I got, I don't know, 1200 meters left. And I have no idea what I'm doing for the rest of the day yet. Um, I, I know one thing for sure, I'm gonna get some of that pork. Those little pork sticks. Or chicken or whatever that guy was grilling up. If he still got them, I'm gonna buy some. Well, there's a monkey up there. Back with the big lens, I guess. It's hard. Can't really see him here. Need the zoom. Call her a 6K round trip, which is almost identical to the Arena Volcano Walk, which I preferred. I thought that was a better walk just because it was, you were, it was just you in the rainforest. Just you. You didn't meet too many people there, so that was nice. Quiet. And here's another super camouflage green snake. I'll put on my big lens again. And with that green little vine snake being the last thing that I saw on the way out here, that wraps up the tour. And it's been three hours and 15 minutes since I stormed the gates here. I'm gonna round it up to four hours by the time I use the washroom. And when I count what I had to wait before coming in, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, it's gonna be four hours all the way through. So yeah, to give yourself three to five hours and you're good, half a day. Now I gotta get some porks and figure out what I'm gonna do next. We got a pretty epic view of Volcano Arena. That is glorious. What a glorious looking volcano. I'm almost there. Okay, made it close to the campground, but I'm just gonna walk in to the massage shop that I talked to last night to see if they're going to massage me for a while in a little bit. Let's go check them out. $35 for one hour, maybe I can get two hours. I wonder what time they close. Two hours would be just as glorious. And shoulder and neck massage. Tired leg. Let's check them out. Six o'clock, is that? Six o'clock, is okay. Yeah. How did you like the massage? Uh, back and shoulders. Full body? Check that out. It's gonna work. Oh, I'm sure glad I didn't run into that guy last night. He's just hacking up a storm. Ah, uh, I'll be ready tonight. I'm gonna bring my sword with me too. <laughs> 